Welcome to today's video where we'll be diving into the world of distributed systems and concurrency as we explore how to implement a Redis-based lock in a Go application. Redis locks are a crucial tool for coordinating access to shared resources in a distributed environment. So let's jump right into the code. Our adventure begins with importing the necessary packages and setting up the Redis client. We'll use the popular Go Redis library to interact with the Redis server. In the main function, we create a Redis client using the specified address. We're using a local Redis server on the default port of 6379. Now let's move on to the interesting part, acquiring a lock using Redis. Locks are essential for ensuring that only one process can access a shared resource at a time. We've defined a lock key, my underscore lock, and set a timeout of 20 seconds for the lock. Inside the acquire lock function, we attempt to acquire the lock using the Redis set nx command. If the lock is successfully acquired, the function returns true, indicating success. Otherwise, it returns false. With the lock acquired, we can now simulate some work being done while the lock is held. In this example, we're using a sleep function to mimic some work that takes 20 seconds to complete. During this time, the lock is held, ensuring that other processes or threads can't access the same resource. Once our work is done, it's essential to release the lock to allow other processes to access the resource. Inside the release lock function, we simply delete the lock key using the DAL command. Finally, we need to account for situations where the lock acquisition fails because another process already holds the lock. If the lock cannot be acquired, we'll receive a failure message and know that the resource is already locked. Now, let's run the program. I am fast-forwarding it as it takes 20 sec after acquiring the lock. As there is no other program trying to acquire the lock, the lock was successfully acquired and released. This time we will run two instances of this program. As we can see, this program is able to acquire the lock, but the other one fails to acquire it. Locks play a vital role in ensuring data consistency and managing concurrent access to shared resources in distributed systems. Thank you for watching and happy coding.